Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is currently 7.40 on Sunday, May 10th, I believe. Yeah, I think May 10th. So I'm going to be doing a 24 hour reading challenge tonight and tomorrow. I've been wanting to do this challenge for a really long time and I have a whole stack of books that you can see right here that I've been meaning to get through and read. I haven't had time to do this recently because I've had school, but I graduated Friday from high school. And since we're all in quarantine, I don't really have much else to do. So I'm just gonna kind of do this 24 hour reading challenge and we'll see how much we get done. I'm hoping to get through at least two or three books, maybe more, maybe less, because I am a pretty fast reader and I can read a good solid like 400 pages in four hours, but we'll see how that actually holds up in 24 hours because I do have ADHD and dyslexia, so I'm not great for long periods of reading, but we'll see how this goes. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep you guys updated, maybe have some reading montages of me just getting through these books. I'm gonna start officially at 8 o'clock, so I still have like 20 minutes until I officially start, but then once I start, we'll, I'll just be reading for as long as I can, and I am gonna probably sleep tonight. I'll probably sleep from like 12 to 6, because my parents yelled at me and told me that I'm not allowed to stay up for 24 hours straight, because it's bad for my health, and during this time of crisis, we should all be taking care of our health, so I will be sleeping. It's not gonna be a complete 24 hours, but we're gonna get as close as we can to 24 hours of just straight through reading from 8 o'clock tonight to 8 o'clock tomorrow night and yeah that's what we'll do so in 20 minutes i'll start i'll show you which book i'm gonna start with and yeah see you guys in 20 minutes as you can see it's 7 58 i have two minutes until eight o'clock when i'm gonna start i'm gonna be looking up some uh music on here like piano music or something so i can listen to some music because i'm gonna use my phone to film this so the first book tonight is the Kingdom of Back. I'm about a hundred or so pages in, so I want to finish this tonight, hopefully. I don't think it'll be that hard. I've got like 200 pages left, so it should take me around two to three hours, so that'll be like 10, 11 o'clock at night when I'm done, and then I'll probably go to bed at 11 or 12, and yeah, that's kind of the plan for right now. Hopefully this, so far it's really good. I really like this so far. It's very interesting. It's about the sister of Mozart and like her story and like her She's also a prodigy of music as well, so there's also like a lot of um, fantasy elements woven into this story, so I really enjoy that as well. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now, so I believe it's 8 o'clock now, and I'm gonna set up a tripod and just have like a little like video montage of me reading and listening. <laughs> currently 9:40 ish um in the evening and i just finished the kingdom of back i got around 230 pages finished in this because i was already 100 pages in so i just finished this quickly it was a pretty quick read i really enjoyed it it was like a good mix of like history and fantasy at the same time because i did do a little background research about the characters and how they actually did exist in real life but then i really liked marie lou's fantasy like interpretation of the story and like her own world that she created around these people so yeah it was really quick and easy read that i just kind of flew through and now i'm gonna start on a second book i'm not sure quite yet i'm debating between shatter me and hush hush because i've heard both books are good and like quick reads and kind of like what's the term like fluffy reads almost kind of like you just kind of like quickly read through them and there's like not a lot of thinking you just kind of like go through them so i'm probably gonna read hush hush because i've had that for longer and it's just been sitting on my shelf for like a really long time like a couple years now and i've just never picked it up so i'm probably gonna read that now and i'm gonna see how much of that i can get through before 11 o'clock so i'll have like an hour and a half to read and then i'll go to bed and wake up at like six and read again so yeah so far one book down but this one i had already started so it was a little bit of a cheat but yeah so far one book down we'll see how much more i can get done so i've decided on hush hush um this obviously is a fallen angel guardian type novel it seems i think it's like in the romance genre and it seems to be kind of like an easy like fluffy read i guess i'm basing it off of its cover and i shouldn't do that since the saying of don't judge a book by its cover but that's what it seems to be like it's around 400 pages so we'll see how much we can get done tonight <laughs> So 
it's currently 10.40 in the evening. I'm on page 160 of Hush Hush, and there's about 400 pages in this book, so I'm almost halfway through with it. I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. Um, and go to bed by 11 and then wake up early tomorrow morning and start reading again because I'm not gonna pull like an all-nighter for this But yeah, I'm really happy. I got a book done and started half of another book So I think that's pretty good for the first like what four or five hours of this readathon Hopefully I'll finish hush hush early tomorrow morning because it should take me another two or three hours to finish And then I have a whole stack of books over here and see yeah right there that I want to get through because I am a really fast reader. I usually read 100 pages in an hour or yeah, it's normally my pace. So yeah, we'll see how many books I can get through. I'm hoping to read at least a thousand pages during this readathon. So far I've read around almost 400 pages so far and it's only been five hours. So I think that's a pretty good start to this. I'll have a decent amount of time tomorrow to read as well because I'm not doing anything. I might film one video tomorrow, but other than that, I don't have anything planned. So yeah, I'm just gonna vlog off for tonight and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when I wake up. Bye. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's currently 7 a.m. and I just woke up. I'm gonna go downstairs, eat some breakfast, and then start back up and finish. Hush, hush. I'm on page 200. I got about 190 pages left to go in that book. So far, it's been really fast-paced and easy to follow. It's also really cheesy and, like, not super in-depth type book. There's a lot of really, like, cliche things going on, which, like, is good for, like, a really lighthearted book if you just want to like mindlessly read something but yeah there's not a lot of in-depth it's very cliche and cheesy but i don't mind it's been pretty interesting so far so i'm gonna go downstairs get some breakfast and then start back up reading hey guys so it's currently 8 56 almost nine o'clock in the morning i just finished hush hush it was 400-ish pages. I think it was 391 pages. It was a good book. I think I'm gonna get the sequel because it's just like a good like cheesy fluffy romance novel which is it's not like my normal novel that I'll normally read. I normally like more action or fantasy like high fantasy novels but this one was very good. It was like your cheesy typical teenage romance novel with a fallen angel and like guardian angel um trope. It's very cheesy. The ending was very predictable and the dialogue is very... It reminds me very much of like... It's like, I don't know, it's very cliche, I guess I would say. There's lots of like the average girl who's not the average girl who's like prettier than she thinks she is type tropes and stuff. But yeah, no, I enjoyed it. It was a good, easy novel to breeze through. I think now I'm gonna read this novel here. Uh, all the stars and teeth. I got this in my owl box subscription box two months ago I started it, but I think I'm just gonna restart it from the beginning I have this novel and one other owl crate box novel that I want to get through because I'm a little bit behind on my owl crate box books that I've read but yeah, so now we're gonna go on to this. It's only nine o'clock and I finished two books so far during these 24 hours, which I think is a good pace. So yeah, we're just gonna continue to read and we'll see how far I can get. Also, I changed my outfit into normal clothes today and got ready. So now I'm just gonna start this next book and we'll see how much more reading I can get done before I exhaust myself. Okay guys, it's currently 10 o'clock. I'm about 50 ish pages into this. Yeah, about 50, right? 60. 60 pages into this book. My father went and got me Starbucks. So I'm now caffeinated and I'm gonna be continuing to read this. I'm hoping to finish this book by noon or one o'clock in the afternoon and start on another book after. Um, I took a little break for like breakfast and to say hi to my family and stuff. But yeah, now I'm gonna get back to reading and I think I'm gonna sit over here in this chair instead of on my bed because I've been sitting on my bed a lot. My back kind of hurts, so I'm gonna sit in this chair and I think I'm gonna do like a little reading montage because I didn't really, I haven't done one yet today, I don't think, have I? I can't remember. But yeah, that's a plan for now. I'm hoping to get at least four or five books done during these 24 hours. I have two done now. This is the third and I'm hoping to get another one or two done, but we'll see what today brings and I should get back to reading. This book so far has been not not my favorite so far. I don't really like the start of it. Hopefully it'll get better midway through to the end, but not my favorite start to a book. It's like about this alternate, not alternate reality because that's not what it is, but like 
another world where there's magic and this princess and she has to like prove herself or something i don't know it's not really my cup of tea but we'll see i'll hold out with hope and hope that it gets to be more interesting like for me obviously it's interesting to some people but for me it's just not my cup of tea so far but yeah <music> It's 10.45. I'm on page 123, so I read another 60th pages I read this far in. It's gotten a lot better. I actually kind of like this middle section. It's like starting to build up to like the middle section of like the actual like plot. I'm actually a lot more interested in this book now. At the beginning, I didn't really like how they set it up. But now that the plot's starting to build, I am enjoying it a lot more. I think I'm going to take a break right now. I might go, I'm going to go get some water and maybe just like get up and move around because my legs are starting to fall asleep. But yeah, and then I'll come back and I'll try to get through. I want to get through to at least chapter 25, which is page 241 by like 11.30. I want to say it's like another, what, 120 pages. So like 11, 30, 12-ish, I'm hoping to get to chapter 25 and then hoping to finish this book by one o'clock, but I'm not sure. I also might go to the store at some point today because I need to go to the store, but yeah, so far this book didn't start out my favorite, but it is starting to pick up and hopefully I'm going to continue to enjoy it and it's going to continue to get better. Um, and then after this, I have to figure out what I'm going to read after this because I have about three or four books that I want to, to choose from that I'm currently wanting to read, but yeah. So far, a good day. I might start doing four-hour reading challenges more often because I'm actually enjoying it quite a lot. I haven't read in a while because of school and having like so much coursework with the IB. I used to read a lot when I was middle school and like early high school and then stopped once like high school started to pick up, but I forgot how much I enjoyed reading and it's been really nice to just like sit down and read a book. But yeah, I'm gonna go take a break, get up, stretch, move around, and then I'll get back to you guys with another update later. <music> I just reached chapter 20, 25. I'm on page 441. So I'm just gonna go take a break for now and eat some lunch and stretch my legs again. Got about this far into the book, I have this much left. I think I'll be able to finish this book by one o'clock, depending on how long it's lunch. I don't know, I'm gonna have, um, I probably won't do a time lapse for the rest of this book because i'll just probably read it and then i'll update you guys when i'm oh when it's done i really am enjoying this book actually like midway through it started getting a lot more fast paced and i've just been kind of breezing through it really easily and i'm very excited to find out how it ends i have some predictions of how it's gonna end but i'm looking forward to seeing if my predictions are correct or not so yeah very excited for the book um so finish this by one o'clock or at the latest 1 30 um but yeah i have until eight o'clock tonight to continue reading hoping to get another book or two done after this but this has been a really great challenge and i'm very happy i took it okay guys it's currently almost 1 30 it's 1 23 in the afternoon and i just finished all the stars and teeth by edelyn grace i really like this book it started out not like i didn't really like the beginning of it but the middle was definitely very interesting and the ending was also very interesting i didn't like the ending as much as i thought i would but it was a very good inclusive ending everything was nicely like wrapped up and finished all the plot lines were answered and the question well all the questions were answered so yeah this was a good book it wasn't my favorite book that i've ever read but it was a very good book it wasn't the worst book i've ever read either i probably am not gonna ever really reread this but i did really like the plot the characters were fun and interesting to follow along with and yeah it was a very interesting little like adventure fantasy novel type thing so that's it for this book but I have three books left that I'm trying to choose between. 
So one of the books is the most recent Owl Crate book, which is Born Crier's Moon, Bone Crier's Moon. This one is 445 pages. Oh, actually that's not that long. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer because it looks really, because this one was 300 pages and it just looks a whole lot larger. But this is only like 445, so I actually might read this. I thought it was gonna be longer and I wanted to choose a shorter book. The next book I was considering is Shatter Me. This one, I've heard lots of great things about. Everyone just is always talking about it and like recommending it. And this one, I feel like this one's only 327 pages. And I've heard great things about this series and it seems to be like one of those like cult favorites of novels. So I might read this. And then the last book that I want to read at some point I might not do it in the 24 hour reading challenge or not is Atlantia by Ali Condie, Condi? I don't know how to pronounce her last name. And this one is around 298. So this one's like the shortest book. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. I feel like I might do Bone Criers because this one sounds the most interesting to me. This one's like based off of a French fairy tale story type thing. So I kind of want to read this one, but it's very long, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna read this one. We're gonna go with Bone Crier now. Hopefully I'll finish this by tonight. If it's not really fast paced, then I'm gonna probably switch over to one of the shorter novels just cause I want to finish another book tonight. But yeah, this one seems really good. So I'm looking forward to starting it. Uh, it's starting to get dark out. Also, I'm probably gonna make another cup of coffee soon and maybe go to the store and get like snacks or something. Cause I'm kind of hungry, but yeah, I'm gonna go make coffee and then we're gonna start out on this book, which I'm very excited about. Okay guys. It's currently, it's been a while since I last updated um, this video. It's currently six o'clock at night. As you can see, I got sidetracked and ended up doing acrylic nails for like an hour or two today. I went to the store, so I didn't read that much. I'm around 50, 60 pages into this book. So I'm probably not gonna finish it by eight o'clock tonight, which is in two hours. However, I'm hoping to get at least like 100 to 200 pages into it. And I think that'll be good since during this read challenge, I've read three books so far. Yeah, I think so, right? I read Kingdom of Bach, Hush Hush, and the Stars and Teeth book. Where did that go? I can't remember. I don't know where I put it. And then half of this. So I think that's pretty good for my first 24 hour readathon. Hopefully, I'll do this again in like another couple weeks and maybe I'll try to read four or five books in 24 hours instead. But I think three to four books is probably good for the first time around. But yeah, I think this really like kind of brought back my love for reading, which is good because I kind of not been reading a lot. So during quarantine, I'm gonna try to read a lot more. And so for the rest of this video, I'll definitely do like an outro like at eight o'clock and tell you guys how everything's going. But I'm probably gonna do some like reading time lapses. I'm gonna probably shower and change into to pajamas soonish so i'll probably do that now and then read until whenever dinner is i might extend the video till nine o'clock because i'm not sure when dinner is i think i'll keep it to eight that's 24 hours i should really stick to the 24 hour limit but i don't know we'll see how it goes but yeah that's the kind of plan for now I kind of wasted the last two or three hours, which is like fine because I don't have to read every single minute of this challenge, but I wish I kind of had stayed more focused, but I'm not very good with being focused, so I guess it was expected of me. I also think I hear dinner being made now, so I probably will have dinner now and then read until late. But yeah, that's kind of an update for now since I didn't update for a while. Yeah, that's the plan for now. Hi guys, so it's currently 8.30. I meant to film this earlier, but my family ended up having dinner at like 7.50 and we didn't finish until literally right now as I'm filming this. I was able to get through around 150 pages of Bone Crier's Moon. So yeah, I was able to get 150 pages into this book. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to finish it. I'll probably finish most of it tonight. However, because it's eight o'clock, the 24 hours is up and I'll have on the screen somewhere how many pages I read during these 24 hours. And the books I read were uh, The Kingdom of Bach, Hush Hush, The Stars and All the Stars and Teeth, I think. I can't remember that title. And then 
bone criers moon. So that's what I was able to get done in these 24 hours. I really enjoyed this challenge. I'm probably gonna do it again in another couple weeks or so. I'm planning to get like a large book order in, which I might do a haul for. But once I get that, I'll probably do another 24 hour reading challenge and I might actually do like a whole like stay up all night reading challenge thing. However, my dad yelled at me when I wanted to do it this time and said I shouldn't, so I didn't. But I definitely wanna try that one time, um, staying up 24 hours and like reading books and stuff. But for the most part, this challenge was great. I did get sidetracked and ended up doing my nails and went to the store so I lost like three or four hours to that and then six hours for sleep yeah six hours or seven hours I don't know so I lost around like 10 hours so it's more like a 14 hour reading challenge but yeah so I read for like 14 hours straight which was interesting but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe and leave a comment down below right like say what book you're reading now or like if you enjoy reading or just anything in general i'm just so happy you watched this video and i'll see you guys next week bye